Alright, there's another video for 2HD and 2VT about exercise 43 and also about this theory, theory B, that says from area to scale factor. So this explains, if you know the areas of the original and the enlargement, how you can calculate the scale factor. But I'm also going to show you using an example. But let's take a look at what it says over here. In red it says, the red things are always the uh, things that you have to know, right? It says, if the area of an enlargement is p times as large, the scale factor is the square root of p. And then here they use an example. But they don't really use a picture in this example, so that's why I don't really like it. So what I have over here is, I'm, I made a couple of drawings as you can see. First we're going to take a look at this example. I know that this length is 2, I know that this length is 3, it's an enlargement, so I know the scale factor is 1.5, because if you do 3 divided by 2, you get 1.5, right? So earlier you learned that if you want to calculate this area, then you have to do this area, which is 6, you have to do it times the scale factor, but you have to do the scale factor squared, because it's two-dimensional. So if you do 6 times 1.5 squared, you know that this area is 13 and a half, okay? So if you know the scale factor, and you want to know the scale factor squared, right? You, well, you just square it. But here we do it the other way around. Because here I don't know how long this is, and I don't know how long that is. I don't know any of that. I do know the areas, though. I know that this area is 3, and I know that this area is 12. So I know that this area is 4 times as big. So if there were a scale factor for this length to that length, right? if there were a scale factor, then I know that that scale factor squared is 4. So if I now take the square root of 4, which is 2, then I know the scale factor should be 2. Okay, so if you know how many times the area is as big, just take the square root of that and you know the scale factor. And the other way around, if you know the scale factor, just take the square of that and then you know how many times the area should, is enlarged. Let's take a look at exercise 43. It says, Two enlargements are made of a photograph measuring 10 by 15 centimeters. The area of one of the enlargements is 8 times as large. Calculate the dimensions in centimeters of this enlargement, round off to one decimal place. Okay, so we know that the, um, the photograph is 10 by 15, right? So the area of that, so the area of the original, area of the original, is 10 times 15 is 150 squared centimeters. Now the question says that the area of one of the enlargements is 8 times as large. And we need to calculate the dimensions of this enlargement. Okay, so um, we can calculate the area first if you want to. So we do 150 times 8 and then we know the area of the enlargement. Oh, actually, we don't need to know any of this, but all right. This is 1,200 squared centimeters. But now we want to know the, uh, the measurements. So we do have to know the, uh, we already know that this is eight times as big, but otherwise we could figure it out now. But if you want to know the scale factor, the scale factor is then the square root of eight. Right? This is what I just showed you. If the area is four times as big, you take the square root of four. So if the area is eight times as big, you take the square root of eight. Now the square root of 8 is, let me see what that is. It's 2.828, rounded off to three decimal places. But you can also use that in your calculation. So what you should do now to get the uh, measurements, right? we do 10 times this number, so 10 times the square root of 8, and then we know the width of this picture, and we also do 15 times the square root of 8, and then we also know the length of the enlargement. So let's calculate what it is. Here we get 28.3 rounded off to one decimal place, and that's in centimeters, and for the other one we get 42.4 centimeters. So these are the measurements of the enlargement. And this is exercise A. Let's go to exercise B now. Exercise B says the longest side of the second enlargement measures 25 centimeters. Calculate the area in squared centimeters of this enlargement. Round off to the nearest integer. Okay, so the longest side in the original is 15. The longest side in this enlargement is 25. So first we're going to figure out what the scale factor is. The scale factor 
is 25 divided by 15. 25 divided by 15 is 1.67, so that's the scale factor. So you see the difference in these two exercises. Here we knew the, uh, the two areas, so you know how many times the areas is big, and they take the square root. But here we know two lengths, and if you just know two lengths, you can divide them, and then you know the scale factor. Now we calculated the area of the original, that's 150 square centimeters. So if you now want to calculate the area of the enlargement, because that was the question, the question was calculate the area of the enlargement. You have to take the original area, that's 150, and you multiply that with this scale factor, and you have to do times the scale factor squared. So let's see what that is. We get 418 point, we have to round off to the nearest integer, so 418 squared centimeters. And this is exercise 43, so thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.